Hello and welcome to today's Nairobi News Bulletin. My name is Mudoni Mushiri. Kenyans from all walks of life continue to pay tribute to the departed former First Lady Lucy Kibaki. Lucy Modoni Kibaki passed away yesterday while undergoing treatment in the London hospital. She had been airlifted there after developing complications at a Nairobi hospital where she had been admitted. The former First Lady has been eulogized as a matriarch who did not shy away from protecting her family and one who was dedicated to uplifting the less fortunate in society. Kusaidia wa Kenya, si mkenya wa juu tu mpaka mkenya wa chini mwenye hajiwezi. Huyo alikuwa ni mtu mzuri sana. Lakini sasa hatuna la zaidi. All it the family of uh, of the late uh, Mama Lucy. We love her very much because we remember how she fought about HIV and AIDS and we really say that uh, we we really send our condolences to the family. Kwa hivyo mama mjitokeze mwe kama huo mama msio msio wa mama hawa waku, wakubabaishwa na kitu be as, as strong as mama Lucy. Hawapa wa Kenya wote um, pole kwa kupoteza mama ambaye amekuwa mama wa taifa amekuwa kielelezo cha wa mama wengi amekuwa a fighter na tunashukuru hata wakati ameenda hivi bado tuna wengi tutaiga mfano wake a man who was recently arrested and charged in court for trespassing into State House Nairobi has been found dead in unclear circumstances. The body of William Gengen Juguna, 29, was found at Uhuru Park, Main Diaz, last week. And according to Mutini Chief George Mukura, Gengen's body was discovered in April 7th and was taken to Sichi Mortuary, from where fingerprints were taken and it was established that he is a resident of Mutuini. Police officers yesterday raided a flat in Makongeni Estate in Nairobi where a resident was allegedly growing bang on a rooftop. The Nairobi Deputy County Commissioner, Julius Ngumo Karuku, who led the operation, urged residents to cooperate with authorities to stop such actions. Police officers appeared abruptly and made their way to the rooftop of this flat where the illegal marijuana garden had been set up in separate crates. They arrested this young man allegedly responsible for the bank growth. Even the mother's defense of her son was futile. <laughs> Manaka hii bangi inaenda kuharibu watoto wetu. Wanasomesha mtoto lakini kuna mtu anatengeneza pesa kuuzia huyu mtoto bangi. However, some residents accused the police officers of colluding with the drug peddlers in the area. Najua kila nyumba penye bangi inauzwa. Hawa watoto wanataka kununua bangi huko ndio wakuje wa wapate hizo mambegu waweke hapa. Wasipime watizi zima hapo leo ndio wameleta mpaka press. Kila nyumba ya bangi wanajua wanachukua kodi ni nini? Bakara wanajifanya hata wanakuja kushika ati huku janaji wa ndom. Wacha kujifanya. Mapedi wani wengi, mapedi ni wengi mtaani. Mbona naanzia mto hii? Kitingela residents want security beefed up in the area after a family was attacked by an armed gang just days after the same gang shot dead a police officer and one civilian in the area. The gang is said to be terrorizing residents and is moving from estate to estate in an unprecedented wave of crime. It is the latest family to face the wrath of the deadly gang that is now causing sleepless nights to residents of Kitengela. The gang struck in the night at the Hillsfield estate in Kitengela, picking this home. But good thing this Kijana Liruka and alert the neighbors. Kasi sasa wakaingia na mapistol wakatuambia msipige kelele mnyamazeni tukasema hatuna shida nyinyi mchukueni chochote lakini mtuachie uzima yetu after terrorizing members of this family and threatening to shoot them if they did not cooperate with them the gang of eight later made away with cash eight phones and other valuables surrendered by the distressed family members sababu tulipopiga simu tulipiga hotline number kwanza ikakuwa mteja ya AP yenye tulikuwa tumepewa alafu tukaona respond yao pia ilikuwa slow 
Last week, the same gang is said to have robbed a bank and shot a policeman and a civilian while escaping. No one has been arrested since the incident occurred. And finally, nominated Member of Parliament Johnson Sakaja on Tuesday night surprised many by picking up the microphone and flexing his rap skills at the Groove Awards nomination night. Mr. Sakaja stepped into the stage in the Kenyan National Theatre and asked for a DJ to play him some hip-hop beats, but there was no DJ in the house, so he asked for anyone who could beat a random beatbox. One Ted volunteered and both got a standing ovation after a 30-second 30 30 rhyme. Don't make too fast, eh? I'm just a man. Thank you, Lord, for your righteous son. What Christ has done, say the words to your master plan. Right, Billy? Yeah. Yeah. And that's it for us for today. For these and more stories, be sure to go log on to www.nairobinews.co.ke. I'm Mudani Mushiri. Goodbye. <laughs>